Today's reading is Windigo, an entry from the Monster Encyclopedia book series. A race of beastmen with a strange mode of life that live in villages hidden by blizzards. The appearance of married and unmarried individuals different differs greatly. Unmarried individuals appear like a young girl clad in an overcoat that completely covers and conceals her entire body and one cannot tell what is inside. They follow around travelers roaming in snowy mountains and trail them from behind during blizzards. They excel in the art of self-concealment. They allow travelers to just sense their presence, but then, when the person hurriedly turns around to have a look, they won't be able to see them at all. After a while, they will call out to the traveler in a faint voice. This behavior leaves the travelers with an eerie impression, but they themselves are actually an extremely warm and gentle race. When they come across people in distress, they start following them from behind out of concern. However, because of their shy and reserved personalities, they don't like to reveal themselves in front of people very much, so they try to guide people to the exit of the mountains with just their voice and a hint of their presence. If one senses their presence and listens to their words, one will be able to find their way out of the mountains. On the other hand, there are many who get so creeped out that they can't tell that they're being guided and end up collapsing. In such cases, they are carried into a safe place such as caves where they can take shelter from the blizzard and the windigo will warmly look after them. In such circumstances, travelers will be able to see what they look like for the first time, even though the girl will be entirely covered in the overcoat, the travelers can still discern the curves of her body, and will hear her lovely, caring voice. If the traveler is male, naturally he'll anticipate and desire to reveal what's deep inside the overcoat, but if he does peek inside, he will no longer be able to safely return to the human world. Some men lose their minds at the moment they behold her face and body. They will howl like a beast while mounting the windigo, shove their steaming hot swollen penis inside, and begin to violate her. Or so it is said. Then it seems these men carry the limp, senseless body of their lover back to the windigo's village deep in the mountains and disappear. Additionally, a Wendigo can only hide her appearance in the mountains during blizzards. Once a traveler has safely left the mountains, if they turn around, they will be able to confirm what the Wendigo looks like. At that point, after having a look at the face of their benefactor, no small number of men will decide to return to the snowy mountains again. It is said that after a while, an unusual phenomenon will happen to even those that manage to safely leave the snowy mountains. They will experience an anxiety and a feeling of depression, like something is lacking, while at the same time their lust swells remarkably. Eventually, they'll begin to hear the voice of the girl calling out to them. A strange amount of heat will gather in their nether regions, and they'll become able to be active even in the middle of a blizzard without any issues. Then the man will follow her voice into the mountains to claim the girl whose white skin he briefly glimpsed through an opening in her raincoat as his. His own. Married individuals appear clad in an overcoat that's way bigger than their body, as in the in illustration. It's unnaturally dark to the point that you can't see inside, yet instead of hiding, the girls make their figures stand out as if showing off in stark contrast to the unmarried individuals. If sighted during a blizzard, they are often mistaken, seen as a terrifying, abominable snowman, but they don't directly harm people. If one focuses their gaze to the utmost limit and peers deep within the darkness, one will vaguely be able to make out a figure. However, if one is able to recognize the true form of the one that lurks in the darkness, and what he is doing with the young girl, the spectacle will be burned into one's mind and they will be unable to maintain their sanity. Or so it is said.